passionate and hardworking, a people and a nation who have achieved and defied all odds, working to keep their economy growing, their country thriving, from investments made in innovative opportunities and exports demanded globally. We have a vision, now within our grasp, where Jamaica becomes the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. We will not let go of this vision. We will grow. We will overcome these challenging times and look to the future with hope and positivity. These are special times. The world as we know it has changed, but home will always be in our hearts. And in Jamaica, you can always find a home. Think you know Jamaica? Look again. You will be surprised. Good day boys and girls and welcome to our session today. Today we'll be looking at various things but the first thing we're going to start with is catwalk. Do you like dressing up? I do. I love dressing up boys and girls. So today we're talking about three different types of clothing that we wear to three different occasions. Yes, so the first one we'll be looking at is party wear. What do you wear to a party? Yes. That's lovely. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you a boy's outfit, what a boy would wear to a party. So he has a purple shirt that has a long sleeve and a brown pants. Yes, boys and girls. So this is what a boy would wear to a party. Let's see what a girl would wear to a party. So she has a yellow skirt a bit like a tutu skirt yes and she has a t-shirt would you wear this to a party yeah i think so i would love to wear this to a party i think it is very nice then we're going to talk about what would you wear to church what would you wear to church so this is what a boy would wear to church so he's got a lovely shirt that's long sleeve and a blue pair of trousers to go with it. Would you wear this to church, boys? You would? Okay. How about the girls? What would girls wear to church? I have this lovely peach dress that's got a blue ribbon and it's got bits of blue patterns on it. Is this something that you would wear to church? You would? That's lovely. I would like to wear this to church. Now we're going to talk about our last outfit. And this is an outfit that you would wear every day. Yes, boys and girls, it's called an everyday outfit. And when I had it folded, it was short sleeve. Right. So which one do you prefer? I prefer the short sleeve because it's a bit hot. Yes, boys and girls. Okay. All right. Auntie's going to roll them up. Now that we've seen that Auntie outfit is very versatile, Auntie outfit can be worn to work and it can be worn to church. All right, boys and girls. Great job. I want you to look at some clothes that can't fit you. And you're going to go and look at them and you're going to come back and tell auntie if they're short or if they're long. Go and do that and come right back. This is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Do you have a child between zero to two years of age? If yes, you need to download the ECC's first 1000 days app. It allows you to receive parenting tips, track developmental milestones, 
learn about the Brain Builder concept, receive relevant articles and research, plus interactive content. The first 1,000 minutes app, now available for download on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. The good news is, you can protect yourself and your family against the coronavirus called COVID-19. We touch lots of things every day, like doorknobs, phones, keyboards, tables, cupboard drawers, refrigerator doors, and light switches. Don't touch these things unless you absolutely have to. One way to lower the risk of getting the virus is to wipe down everything at the start of the day. Clean frequently touched surfaces and objects at home like doorknobs with disinfectant or soap and water. Once done, wash your hands properly. Protect yourself and your parents from the coronavirus or COVID-19. Three factors can help you make safe choices when you're in an area of widespread COVID-19 transmission. Consider the location, the proximity to others, and the amount of time you spend there. Where does your activity take place? Open air spaces are always safer than enclosed spaces, particularly if they're small or without fresh air. Proximity to other people is also important. It's safest when there are fewer people around and you can keep more than one meter apart. How long does your activity last? The shorter, the better. Think about each of these factors and avoid situations where the risk dial is high. Small or poorly ventilated places and crowds of people for long periods of time. Stay safe. Lower the risk to yourself and others. For little people, it's a really big world. A big world to discover and explore. And because discoveries aren't always easy to understand, little people need help to make sense of the big world. So help them make sense of the world. When you see PG, do PG. The Broadcasting Commission, your partner for a new day. Okay, boys and girls, did you find the outfit that can no longer fit you? Okay, can you tell me when you try it on, is it long or is it short? Yes, it is short because you have grown, you have gotten so much bigger. And that's the reason why 
it cannot fit you anymore, you have grown. Okay, so now auntie is going to show you something and you're going to tell me if it's long or short. Are you ready? Now I have these pants right here and these are, uh, is this long or short? This is long, right boys and girls? This is a long pants, right? How about this one? This is short. Yes, these shorts are short. Do you think you can differentiate between long and short? Do you think you can show me which one is long and which one is short? Okay, so auntie's going to roll her sleeve down and you are going to tell me which one is long and which one is short. Okay, is this the short one? No, it's not. This is the long one, right? Because my sleeve is long. And this one is the, yes, this is the short one. Auntie folded it and this sleeve is short. Good job, boys and girls, good job. Now you are able to tell if something is long or if something is short. Fantastic. We're going to take a break and come right back. We live in a digital environment where information is easily accessed and opportunities are limitless. An age to think big, to innovate and lead. But beware, the digital space has its challenges. Manage your digital self carefully because the consequences are real. At least 10 incoming freshmen had the recent acceptance withdrawn after posting extremely offensive images and statements on a private Facebook group. Stop and think before you broadcast and post messages. Before downloading third-party apps. Because your digital footprint follows you wherever you go. The Broadcasting Commission, your partner for a new day. The following is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Hi everyone, as we prepare for the reopening of early childhood institutions, you are being reminded that spacing for children should maintain ECC standards of 20 square feet per child and must maintain physical distancing of no less than three feet apart. Stay tuned for protocols from the Early Childhood Commission as we prepare to open all early childhood institutions. That was a message brought to you by the Early Childhood Commission. and your family against the coronavirus called COVID-19. We often touch our face to calm ourselves down. This can be dangerous as the virus gets into your body when we touch our eyes, nose, or mouth. One way to break the habit of touching your face is to cross your hands. Please try not to touch your face if you have not washed your hands with soap and water or before using a hand sanitizer. Protect yourself and your parents from the coronavirus for COVID-19. <laughs> Jamaica, I can help you protect our citizens. Jamaica.
Jamaica Eye will play a part in increasing your public safety. Jamaica Eye is part of an island-wide network of camera surveillance systems designed to increase the safety of you, our citizens. If you have a camera system outside your home or office facing a public space, log on to jamaicaeye.gov.jm today. Jamaica Eye, we're all connected. The Ministry of National Security, creating a safer and prosperous Jamaica. Okay, boys and girls, now we're going to talk about different places that we go to and what we would wear. Now, the first one we're going to look at is party. What would you wear to a party? Remember, we spoke about different outfits earlier. All right, you tell me what you would wear to a party. Really? That's what you would wear? Okay, okay. And tell me something that you like to do at a party. Yes, I like to eat cake, especially birthday parties. I like to put on my lovely little dress, and I like to eat cake at birthday parties. Okay. How about the beach? What would you wear to the beach? Yes, I like to wear my bath suit, and boys like to wear their swim trunks. And we go to the, bar, to the beach and we splash in the water and we have lots of fun. I know, I know, I miss going to the beach as well. I know the rain and COVID kind of makes it a little difficult. But very soon we'll be able to go to the beach, right? Okay. Now this word is picnic. What would you wear to a picnic? Okay, so we're going to a picnic. We might go out in the garden. We bring our little towel. We sit down. Mommy, daddy, auntie might bring a basket that has food and fruits and sandwiches and juice, right? So we all go to the back garden and we sit down and we enjoy all the little good foods that they have for us. I love fruit. So when I go to a picnic, I like to wear a t-shirt and shorts and have a lots of fruits to eat. I love fruits. Okay. Now, what would you wear to school? I miss school. I know. Boys and girls, I miss school so much. I really miss school. Yes. But what would you wear to school? I know you'd wear that lovely uniform, khaki uniform, boys, or some of you wear the nice shirt that's got the buttons. I know, you look so smart. And girls, you wear your lovely dresses. And I know, I miss it, especially with the school shoes, nice and clean. I know, oh, I know. So that's what you would wear to school, and I would wear this to school. All right. How about church? What would you wear to church? All right, I know you'd wear that nice dress and boys would wear their suits and your nice pants and your shoes. All right, so now we talked about the different places that we'd go and what we would wear. Now auntie's going to ask you, we're going to play a bit of a matching game. You think you can match some words for me? Okay, so the first word we're going to match is party. Do you think you can find party in the lineup? You can? Okay, match the word party for me, please. Great job. So the other word is beach. Do you remember how the word looked? Yes, are you going to match the word beach for me, please? Great, you did it. Okay, how about picnic? You're going to match the words picnic? Fantastic. How about the word school? Yes, you've 
done it. And the last one is church. Can you match the word church for me? Oh, well done, boys and girls. Well done. Give yourselves a big, 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 big clap. You did it. You match all the words. Wonderful. Okay, we're going to take a break and come back. A message from the Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Honourable Andrew Holness. Under the Disaster Risk Management Act, you must wear a mask in all public access places and in public transportation. If you wear a mask and I wear a mask, we are all safer. That was a message from Most Honourable Andrew Holness. Three factors can help you make safe choices when you're in an area of widespread COVID-19 transmission. Consider the location the proximity to others, and the amount of time you spend there. Where does your activity take place? Open air spaces are always safer than enclosed spaces, particularly if they're small or without fresh air. Proximity to other people is also important. It's safest when there are fewer people around and you can keep more than one metre apart. How long does your activity last? The shorter, the better. Think about each of these factors and avoid situations where the risk dial is high. Small or poorly ventilated places and crowds of people for long periods of time. Stay safe. Lower the risk to yourself and others. This is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Do you have a child between 0 to 2 years of age? If yes, you need to download the ECC's first 1000 Days app. It allows you to receive parenting tips, track developmental milestones, learn about the Brain Builder concept, receive relevant articles and research, plus interactive content. The first 1000 now available for download on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back. Now we are going to be making a picture graph. And for a picture graph, we'll be looking at clothing that we wear to bed, clothing that we wear to school, 
clothing that we wear to church, clothing that we wear to beach, and clothing that we wear to a birthday party. So, Auntie will be putting the pictures for each clothing, of each clothing in their correct places. So this is a uniform. Where would we wear a uniform to? You have to help Auntie because Auntie doesn't quite know. All right? So we wear the uniform to school. Great job. Okay. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. You're going to sing with me while Auntie put the glue on? All right. Come on. Let's sing together. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. I'm going to put the uniform where the word school is. Great job. Now we have a pretty dress. And Auntie doesn't remember where we put the dress. Where do we wear the dress to? Mm, school, we wear the pretty flowery dress to school. No, where do we wear the dress? To church. Great job. Thank you for telling me. Let's sing Baby Shark again. Ready? Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. A baby Shark. So. This dress will go to church. All right, so we have another one. We have shorts and crocs. Hmm. Where we are shorts and crocs to bed? No. Where do I wear shorts and crocs to? The beach. Fantastic! Auntie likes when you help. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. All right, boys and girls, that's great. So we have a picture of a shorts and a shirt. Where do we wear the shorts and shirt? To bed? Mm, I don't think so. How about to a birthday party? Yes, I think so too. All right. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark, do, do. Baby shark, do, 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 baby shark. Okay. Well done, boys and girls. Okay. Now we have a bath suit and slippers. Tell me where would you wear a bath suit and slippers? Yes, to the beach. To the beach. All right. And she's going to put it down. Put some glue on. And we're going to paste it on our chart where we have the word beach. Okay. So our next outfit would be. A shirt, a pants, and a tie. And we also have a jacket. This looks like something that we wear to school. Yes. So if we would wear it to school, it is called a... Yes, it's called a uniform. Fantastic. All right. So now we have 
What do we wear to bed? I see a onesie pajamas. Would you wear that to bed? Yes, we wear pajamas to bed. So Auntie is going to put some glue on the paper. And we're going to paste it beside the word bed. Great job. Thank you for helping. But Auntie is not finished yet. So we have another dress, a uniform dress. Where do we wear the, our uniform? I can't remember, boys and girls. I can't remember. Yes, we wear our uniforms to school. Great job. Okay, you have to help auntie. So we have another dress here. This looks like a very pretty dress, something that we'd wear to church. Yes, so this one, I think I'll put this one beside the word church. And then we have another outfit. This one has a waistcoat, a t-shirt, and a pants. And I think we'll wear this to church. So this is another church outfit for boys. Then we have jeans, shirt, and sneakers. I think this will be something that we wear to a birthday party. You think so? I think so too, I think so. So we're going to put some glue on it and we're going to paste it right where it says birthday. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Okay, so now we have another outfit. We have t-shirt, jeans, and slippers. And I think we could wear this to the beach. I think we could wear this to the beach. But you said you'd wear it to a party? You'd wear a t-shirt, shorts, and slippers to a party? A birthday party? Okay, if you say so. Okay, then we have another pajama set. Where do we wear our pajamas? To bed. Yes, we wear our pajamas to bed. Okay. All right. Then we have Another outfit, this is a shirt and a pants. Where would we wear a shirt and a pants to? To church? Okay, okay, okay. 
boys and girls you're doing really well at this i think you all are doing very well thank you for helping then we have another pretty dress do you think we could wear this to a party I think so. I think we could wear this pretty dress to a party. A birthday party. Okay, so we're going to put it right here. And then we have another one. We have t-shirt and shorts with sandals. Where could we wear this to? You think we could wear it to the beach? Okay. All right, we'll put that one beside beach. All right. We have another pajamas here, and we wear our pajamas to, to the beach. No, we wear our pajamas to bed. Okay. We have the last one. We have a lit lovely little summer dress and slippers. Where do you think we could wear these to? Think you could wear it to the beach? I think so too. Okay, so we're going to paste it. Right in the section with the beach. Okay, boys and girls, now that we've finished pasting our pictures um, according to where we'd wear them to, now we're going to have a look at them. We're going to see which one has less and which one has more. This means we're going to count. Are you ready to come and count with me? All right, let's go. So for bed, we have one, two, three. We have three clothing that we wear to bed. Then we have school. Let's count. One, two, three. So we have three uniforms. How about church? You think we'd have more for church? Yes. Okay, so for church, Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four. For the beach, we have one, two, three, four. Good job, boys and girls. And for the last one, we have birthday. What would you wear to a birthday? Let's count the outfits that we did. One, two, three, four. Yes. So we have three of them that we have four outfits for. So we have four outfits for church, beach, and birthday. And we have three outfits for bed and school. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for helping. Woohoo! The following is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Hi, it's me again, reminding you of some of our protocols as we prepare for the opening of early childhood institutions. Remember to rearrange desks and chairs to face one direction. And remember at all times that you should be wearing your mask in the classroom. Remember that you should be keeping the windows and doors open for proper ventilation. Stay tuned for more protocols from the Early Childhood Commission. That was a message brought to you by the Early Childhood Commission. What can a little germs do? Pink iron in belly even flu. Germs can make them happy.
friend to you. Good terms and a manners with these. Cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze. Always wash your hand with water and soap. Keep dirty hands from your eyes and your nose and your mouth. You don't want to be sick. Take care. Practice every day. No jam down here. A message from the Ministry of Health. wear capes. Some wear scrubs, masks, gloves, boots, and some may even carry a stethoscope. Let's acknowledge our local heroes, our nurses, doctors, paramedics, technicians, soldiers, and our police officers. What makes them unsung heroes? They are selfless. They risk their lives for others daily and commit to putting others before themselves. There are many other persons who are also essential in these unprecedented times to include you. Yes, you. Thank you for playing your part as we fight this pandemic. Your efforts to stay home and to abide by the measures implemented do not go unnoticed. Please continue to help us keep you safe. and your family against the coronavirus called COVID-19. We often touch our face to calm ourselves down. This can be dangerous as the virus gets into your body when we touch our eyes, nose, or mouth. One way to break the habit of touching your face is to cross your hands. Please, try not to touch your face if you have not washed your hands with soap and water or before using a hand sanitizer. Protect yourself and your parents from the coronavirus for COVID-19.
Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back. And right now, Auntie Sharice is going to take you into the other activity. So our letter that we will be looking at this week is the letter H. We're looking at the letter H. Yes, boys and girls, it looks like this. The letter H. Now, do you know what sound the letter H makes? A little louder. I can't hear you. A little louder. The letter H makes a sound. Make that sound for me. Like H. The sound like I am happy. I have a hat. Look at my hand. Yes, boys and girls, the letter H. Okay, now we're going to sing a little song together. Are you ready? So Auntie is not the best singer, but we're going to do this together, okay? So let's do this. It goes like this. The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, you think you have that? All right, let's give it a go one more time. The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, you think you got that? Okay, Auntie's going to let you sing it. Are you ready? All right, let's go. The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, Great job, boys and girls. You did it. Now that you know the sound that the letter H makes, we're going to look at two types of H's. We have the capital H that looks like this. And we have the common H that looks like this. We use the capital H for special things like names of persons and places. So if your name is Hannah, hi Hannah, your name begins with the letter H. Yes, and how about Hillary? Yes, Haley. Yes, all of your names begins with the letter H. Great job. And we use the common H, which is this one, for names of objects and things. So, for instance, the word house or your hand, a hat, or your head. We use the common H. Okay, boys and girls. Now, you're going to tell me, what kind of H is this? This is the capital H. Well done. This is the capital H. And we call this one the common H. Well done. This is the common H. Good job, boys and girls. Give yourselves a clap. Woohoo! You've done it. Okay, now we are going to try something. We are going to try and write the letter H in the air. You think you can do that? Okay, let's go. So, we're going to draw the first stick down like this. Done it? Then we're going to go into the middle and we're going to draw the other stick across like that. Yep. And then we're going to draw another stick down. That's the capital H. You've done it. Want to go one more time? Okay, let's go again. So we start at the top. And we're going to go down like this. Stop. We're going to go in the middle of that line. We're going to go across. And then we're going to draw down again like this. 
Good job. I like your H. It looks wonderful. Now, we're going to try and do a common H. And I know you can do it, so you won't be trying. You, you are going to do it, right? Okay, so let's go. We're going to look at this one. So we're going to go, ready? Fingers at the top. We're going to go down like this. And then we're going to find the line, halfway mark. And we're going to go around and down. You done it, boys and girls? Okay, let's go one more time. Start at the top. Come down, we're going to find about the halfway mark, and we're going to go round like this. That is the letter H. Well done, boys and girls. You've done it. Give yourselves a clap. <laughs> now, I want you to think about some things that begins with the letter H. I know Auntie mentioned a few. Can you remember? You, all right, good job, you remembered. Do you remember the song that we sang about the letter H? You do? Okay, Auntie feel like singing it one more time. Come on, sing with Auntie one more time, ready? Okay, the H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound, the H says. One more time, one more time, you sound so good. Let's go again. The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, fantastic, you sound so lovely, boys and girls. You sound so good. Now we're going to talk about some of the things that begins with the letter H, like your hands. Yes, your hands begins with the letter H. Your head begins with the letter H. Your heart begins with the letter H. Yes, boys and girls, heart does begin with the letter H. How about a hat? Yes, the hat you wear on your head. Do you think you can look around your house and find something that begins with the letter H? You can. Okay, go and look and come right back. The head says, the head says, every letter makes a sound. The head says, the head says, the head says, says, every letter makes a sound. The head says, you're back. Yes. Tell me, what did you find? Yes. Okay, are you sure that begins with the letter H? You are? Okay, good job boys and girls, good job. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Jamaica Eye is part of an island-wide network of camera surveillance systems designed to increase the safety of you, our citizens. If you have a camera system outside your home or office facing a public space, join us in helping to make Jamaica a safer place for all. Log on to jamaicaeye.gov.jm today. Jamaica Eye, we're all connected. The Ministry of National Security, creating a safer and prosperous Jamaica. This is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Do you have a child between 0 to 2 years of age? If yes, you need to download the ECC's First 1000 Days app. It allows you to receive parenting tips, track developmental milestones, learn about the Brain Builder concept, receive relevant articles and research, Plus interactive content. The first 1000 Days app, now available for download on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store.
welcome back boys and girls welcome back no auntie found a house did you hear the h sound a house yes house begins with the letter h no auntie's looking around the house and auntie find three things that begins with the letter h that's in her house so i'm going to paste them onto my house you're going to help me yes okay okay let's go i'm so excited okay boys and girls i found a hanger hanger begins with the letter h yes so auntie found a hanger so auntie's going to get her glue and i'm going to glue the hanger onto my house let's sing the song you're going to help me sing the song the h says all right let's do that again the h says the H says, ah. every letter makes a sound. The H says, ah. and I'm going to paste the hanger on my house. Yes, I paste the hanger on my house. Looking around, looking around, looking around, looking around, I found a hammer. Yes, I found a hammer. And hammer begins with the letter h good job so auntie's going to put some glue on the picture the h says the h says every letter makes a sound the h says right remember though a hammer is not for children okay only adults should use a hammer okay it's not for children Anyway, auntie looking, auntie looking, auntie looking. Guess what auntie found? A hat. And hat begins with the letter H. Yes. Auntie's going to put some glue. What are we going to do? The H says, the H says, every letter makes a sound. The H says, So there we go. I found three things around my house that begins with the letter H. I found a hanger that I hang my clothes on. I found a hammer and I found a hat. Good job, boys and girls. So that's what I found. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me the word that you hear that begins with the letter H. You ready? Okay. Dressing up makes me feel happy. Yes. You want me to say it again? Okay. Dressing up makes me feel happy. Did you hear the H word? You did? Tell me, tell me, tell me what it is. Yes. Happy. Now, does dressing up make you feel happy? Yes, I know it does, especially when you get to choose your own outfits, right? Yes, especially when you like to put on that nice jeans and that nice t-shirt. Or for the girls, when you like to put on that nice skirt that you love and the nice t-shirt to go with it. Yes, it makes you feel happy. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to jump into our activity. And for our activity, we'll be making a hat out of paper. What will we, what will we be making? A hat. Right, so we're going to need construction, some, so, some construction paper if you have one, or just regular paper, glue, and something that you'd like to decorate your hat with all right so go and go go and get those items and come right back
can protect yourself and your family against the coronavirus called COVID-19. If someone in your home has COVID-19, no need to worry. You can help take care of them and protect yourself at the same time. Every day, clean all surfaces that are touched often, like counters, tabletops, doorknobs, and bathroom counters with disinfectant. Use household cleaning sprays or wipes according to the label instructions. Protect yourself and your parents from the coronavirus or COVID-19. <laughs> the following is a message from the Early Childhood Commission. Hi, it's me again reminding you of some of our protocols as we prepare for the opening of early childhood institutions. Remember to rearrange desks and chairs to face one direction. And remember at all times that you should be wearing your mask in the classroom. Remember that you should be keeping the windows and doors open for proper ventilation. Stay tuned for more protocols from the Early Childhood Commission. That was a message brought to you by the Early Childhood Commission. Welcome back, boys and girls. Welcome back. Okay, have you got all the things you need to make your hat? You have? Okay, great. So we're going to make a hat you out of paper just using nine easy steps nine simple simple quick and easy steps right so we have our paper like this whether it's construction paper or normal paper no problem okay get your paper like this <coughs> so we're going to do a step one we're going to fold our paper in half like this. All right, done it. So we fold it in half like this. Great job. Then we're going to fold it again like this. So we're going to fold it again in half. So this is step two like this done that so we had step one fold it in half step two we fold it in half again okay now we're going to open it and this part that opens, we're going to put this part at the bottom, okay? So, we're going to fold the corners. We're going to fold this corner inward like this, all right? So, 
so it should look like this you got it all right i'm going to do the same thing with this side So I need to bring mine in a little bit more. Just like this. So your hat should look something like this. You're there? Right. So this would be step three. This would be step four. Okay. Now, remember I said to leave this part at the bottom. So now we're going to be folding this section of the paper. So we're going to do one fold. Two fold. So we folded it twice. So we have one fold. Two fold. You got that? All right. And then we're going to do the same thing with this side. One fold. Two folds. So when you are finished, your hat should look like this. But we are not finished yet, are we? No. We need to decorate our hats. But guess what Auntie is going to do? Auntie is going to make another one so that you get the concept on how to make your hats. Okay, so I'm going to go over it one more time for you. So... And she has her paper and we're going to fold it in half remember we did that so we did this way fold it in half then what are we going to do <laughs> we're going to fold it in half again you remembered Okay, so we folded it in half the first time, fold it again. All right, what are we going to do now? What part goes to the bottom? Right, the open part goes to the bottom. So now we're going to fold the inside like this. And we're going to do the same with the other side, like this. So by the time you're finished, you should have two folded parts on the inside. You have that? Perfect. Then, remember we have the open section. We're going to fold it two times. All right, so let's count. Ready? One. And right, we're going to fold it and make sure that these two parts are folded in. Two. She needs to bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so we have that, and we're going to do the other part. And we're going to fold it how many times? Two times. One, 
to so now we have our hat that looks like this now guess what it's time for you to be creative and decorate your hat yes boys and girls you're going to decorate your hat so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick some pictures on my hat that begins with the letter H. Good, you remembered. So here we have a helicopter and helicopter begins with the letter H. Woohoo! You got it, you got it. Boys and girls, you're so smart. Did you know that? You are very smart. Good job. So Auntie is going to go in with the glue again. And Auntie will paste in her helicopter. I'll paste it at the front. Okay. So Auntie is going to paste it like this. And I have a picture of a hamburger. Did you hear the hit sound? Hamburger. Yes. So Auntie's going to paste this picture on her hat. All right. I'm going to paste this one at the back. Boys and girls, get as creative as you want with your hat. It is your hat. Okay, so now auntie's going to paste. Do you remember what H this is? That goes like this. What H is that? A capital H. Well, Sam. Auntie is just going to put a bit of glue. And here we have my H hat. Yes, boys and girls. So my hat looks like this. And guess what? Auntie made another hat. Auntie got real creative and got a bit carried away with all these hats. So Auntie made another hat and look at this hat boys and girls it has a hand on it and it also has feathers Woohoo! what color feathers are these what color is this blue and what color red well done so auntie got really creative with this hat and there we go i used white paper and I use crayon to color it. So boys and girls, get as creative as you like with your hat. Now guess what auntie's going to do? I'm going to try it on. Cause remember when I get dressed up, I feel happy. So auntie's going to try and fit the hat on her head. There we go. Do you like my hat boys and girls? Yes, auntie is so happy with her hat. Woohoo! Yes, boys and girls, my hat with my blue and red feathers and the blue to go with the blue on my shirt. Yes. Now, do you think this outfit can go to church? <laughs> no, not with this hat. No, Auntie was just being silly. Boys and girls, this is my hat. Try on your hat and let us see how it looks. Woohoo! You look lovely in your hat, boys and girls. You look amazing. You want me to try on the other one? Okay, let's try it on quickly before we go for a break. So this will be the front. Okay, so we have my purple hat that has my helicopter on it. And the letter H. Woohoo! Okay, boys and girls, continue decorating your hat. Get creative as you like. We're going to go for a break and come right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you finish making your hat? 
Yes, and I like the fact that you got very creative with your hat. I'm seeing a lot of creative hats. Well done, boys and girls. You did a great job today. Now, before we go into story time, we're going to do a little recap, okay? So, today we talk about outfits that we'd wear to church, outfits that we'd wear to school, Outfits that we'd wear to a birthday party. Outfits that we'd wear to bed. And outfits that we'd wear to the beach. Yes, the beach. Okay, so remember that what do we wear to bed? We wear our pajamas to bed and we get really comfy, okay? Then to the beach, we wear our swimsuits. And boys, you wear your swim trunks, okay. To church, we wear our church outfits, we wear our dresses. Boys, you wear your pants and your shirt, and we get dressed up real nice. To school, we wear crocs and jeans. No, we wear our uniforms. Right, right, right. We wear our uniforms. And to birthday parties, we wear jeans, t shirt dresses, skirts, right? Okay, 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 okay. So that's what we talked about. We also talked about, I can't, when, when, when I did this, we talked about, mm, this one is, a little louder. This one is long, right? And this one is short, right? And we did a pant that was long, you remember? And we did one that was short. Good job, you remembered, you remembered. Okay, what letter did we look at just a while ago? Letter K? No. It makes the sound. Mm. The head says, the head says, every letter makes a sound. The head says, was that the song? Okay, let's do it one more time. The head says, the head says, Every letter makes a sound. The head says, ah. All right, we looked at the letter H, right? And we did the capital H and the common H. Yes, we did the capital H and the common H. Now, we talked about some things that begins with the letter H. Oh. Hand, or head, or heart. I live in a, a house, right? We made some hats. Yes, we made some hats. And we decorated our hats. Well, Auntie decorated her hats with things that begin with the letter H, like a helicopter, a hamburger, and a hand. Well done, boys and girls. And you also spoke about a hammer. And what else did we put on the house? We hang our nice outfits on them. A hanger. Right, and we said our outfits makes us feel happy. Yes, my outfit makes me feel happy. Now, boys and girls, we are going to go right into story time. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, get comfortable, sit nicely, relax, and let's jump right into story time. Okay, so... 
The story that we'll be reading is called The Girls in the Circle by Nikki Giovanni. The girls in the circle have painted their toes. They twist their braids with big yellow bows. They took grandma's face powder and powdered each nose. They sprayed evening in Paris all over their clothes. They are amazed at how they look. They smell good too. Mother may not be amused. The girls in the circle now tease and giggle. They look so grown up with that high heel wiggle. Their pearls are flapping their dresses flow. They are so sorry they have no place to go. Mother refuses to drive them anywhere looking like that. The girls in the circle have changed their clothes. They're tying their shoes which are hiding their toes. Sorry, which are hiding those toes. You got the whole thing? The girls in the circle have changed their clothes. They're tying their shoes, which are hiding those toes. Mother thinks they took Mother thinks they took that red polish off, but they didn't. Right. Mother thinks they took that red polish off, but they didn't. That's the end of our story, boys and girls. Did you enjoy it? You did? Okay. Do you remember some of the things that the girls in the circle did? <laughs> yes, they painted their toes. And they had on high heel shoes. What else? Yes, it sounded as if they dressed up. But did they have somewhere to go? No, they had nowhere to go. Good job, boys and girls. You remembered things about the story. What didn't you like about the story? Okay. All right. Oh, Auntie didn't like the fact that they dressed up and didn't have nowhere to go. I didn't really like that part. Because when I get dressed up, I like to go out, right? Okay, boys and girls, well done. We had a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the day. And I hope that you enjoyed the rest of the day wherever you are. Remember that you are special. Watch yourself online, that's what my crew say. Make it a new day. A reminder by the Broadcasting Commission. We the BCJ. What if, what if it was your friend in the mix? What if, what if it was your sis in the pit? What if, what if you want a terrorist watch list? What if, what if, what if suppose that I want? What you do?